AW Nation, thanks for stopping by to learn more about Divi's accordion module. So the accordion module is a fantastic tool for people who want more control over how large blocks or several blocks of content are displayed on a page, particularly text. So the best use case that comes to mind is a frequently asked question section. So what you might do is have the question displayed and then under each one have an accordion and you'll be able to toggle that accordion on and off to display or collapse uh, the answer to that question. So you can fit a large chunk of content that's mostly text in a pleasing graphical way. So we're gonna show you how to implement that module onto a page and then we're gonna show you how to get a little bit creative with the design as well. Enjoy. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of the Divi accordion module. The accordion module is kind of like a mixture between the toggle module and the tabs module in that the, it has the ability to toggle open the individual list items, but it also only allows one to be open at a time, just like the tabs module. Except this is a vertical list as opposed to a horizontal list in the tabs module. And the accordion module is a great way to consolidate certain information on your website within a single system. And it also gives the user more control over what content they want to see at a given time. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the accordion module. As you can see here, I have an accordion module and it's being used to simply showcase a few of the main areas of expertise for this business. And as you can see, if I toggle open each of my little accordion tabs here, you can see how it functions, leaving one visible accordion open at a time. Let's go ahead and go over how to add an accordion to your page and also how to customize the settings to get it looking just right for your web page. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my visual builder. All right, and then I'm going to hover over my accordion module and I'm going to delete it. To add a new accordion module, you will simply click add new module here. Click on the accordion module. Then the accordion settings will pop up. And you'll see this under the content tab, one of the first things you'll see is this uh, plus icon, um, which stands for basically the ability to add a new toggle here for my accordion. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And that automatically brings me up to my individual accordion settings for this certain toggle here. And the first thing I'm going to do is enter a title for my first toggle here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy the information from these three here just to give you an example so first one will be financial advice and I can go ahead and copy this text in here for now to my content all right I'm going to save that out and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it a couple of times and then I'm going to go to my Next toggle, I'm going to go ahead and edit the settings and give it a new name. Go ahead and call it Investment Planning. Save that one. And then update the third one with the name Safe and Secure. So that's really easy to build your content for each of your individual toggle items here for your accordion. Now that I have all of my toggles in place, Let's go ahead and go through some of the settings that we have available to customize our accordion. Also under the content tab, you have this ability to add a background. Adding a background will add it to your uh, module. So it's the background that exists behind the actual toggles for your accordion. I'm gonna go ahead and erase that background for now. Under the design tab, you have the ability to set an icon color. And this icon is the one right here on the right of your toggle here. Of course, change the color to whatever you want. 
um, the text here, orientation can be changed simply, and it, you know it applies to not only the text and the actual toggle title here, but also in the body text as well. Text shadow can be applied to your text as well. Uh, the body text, this would be in reference to specifically only the text that you can see once the toggle has been opened. And um, we could probably, you know, increase the font a little bit just to show you. Probably want to keep it pretty small in this case so it matches my other fonts. The toggle text uh, applies to the actual uh, title here. Um, and you can customize the toggle text to whatever color you want. So, for example, the open toggle refers to the state of the toggle when it is open. So we can change this color of this text only for on its open state here. Maybe I want to just change that to green on its open state. Um, and notice it doesn't change the closed state here. Um, open background color as well can change um, if you wanted to uh, give that a different color let's say you wanted it I don't know really dark or something you can see that the open state of that toggle um, has a different background than the closed state which is the ones underneath let's go ahead and update the closed toggle text color that re that refers to this state right here when it's closed I could uh, change that to green as well if I wanted to Maybe I want to keep those blue and the open state green. And I can also adjust this gray background for the closed state as well. The closed toggles. Um, you can see a real dark color there just to give you an example. You can change the header level of your toggle here. Also customize the toggle font, uh, which I actually, let's go ahead and change it to Montserrat, match the, the site design here. And actually want to match it to this link up here. So let's go ahead and give it a, uh, let's keep it a regular font weight. Let's make it um, all caps here. Let's bring up our uh, title text to 20. Looks good. And let's increase our toggle letter spacing a bit. That looks nice. And um, I want to go ahead and change up this. I actually want to make, since it's, let's say we want to match our button up here, probably want to make this closed state um, background green and the text white and also the icon white. So it's really easy to do. Goes to, I'll go to my closed uh, toggle background color. And I'm going to grab this um, green from this button. I'm going to paste it in there. And you can see I need to update my text color now. So the closed title text color should be white. And I'm going to go back up here, change my icon color to white as well. And then let's go to my open toggle text color and change that to a darker green. And there you go. That looks a whole lot better. Okay, uh, continuing on. The sizing here can be adjusted if you wanted to shrink your toggle module here and also align it once you get the width that you want. These spacing elements um, are helpful. Let's say I want to give my module more margin up at the top. I can do that. Um, and this padding actually refers to the padding of your content within your your toggle box here. So if I were to increase my padding or actually set it to five, you can see that it decreases that that distance between the, the title and the, the body text there inside my toggle there. So if I gave it 50, you can see that it increases it even more. If I wanted to, you know, really 
add a padding to all over my content. You can see if I add a 20 pixel to all four sides of my content, you can see that it kind of indents it and gives it a nice look. I'll restore the default there. The a border can be uh, added and customized for each of my little toggles here. Uh, I could add a rounded corner to it um, if I wanted to. Uh, 10 pixels. Doesn't really match my button there, so I kind of want to just keep it without a rounded corner for now. I like my border style the way it is. I just want to maybe increase my border width a little bit. And let's go ahead and match my border color with my green. There you go. Add a box shadow to my toggles there. If I, went, if I wanted to. And also add a nice animation here. Maybe I want to um, flip it uh, when I scroll to it on my site. Now it looks like I have some alignment issue here. Maybe I want to uh, decrease my spacing here. There you go. And let's see. Let's go over to our advanced tab. You can also add a custom or unique CSS ID or class to target your module from an external style sheet, as well as enter any custom CSS to any of these elements of your module as an inline CSS. Also, you have the ability to disable this module on any of these devices like phone, tablet, or desktop. And now that we've gone over you know our general tab or our general settings for our accordion uh, let's go back to our content here tab and let's just look at a few of the individuals uh, settings so in addition to you know entering your title and content for your individual toggles you can also customize the design for uh, a specific toggle so that it may uh, have its own unique design so Maybe I want a different color icon for this one. I can do that. Um, maybe I want it a, a different text uh, color for just this one. And you can see that if I open up the others, you know, the this one will stay green, but this one will always be blue. So you can kind of, you know, create your own unique design, make one stand out more than the other or anything like that. So you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to you know, getting the design exactly how you want for these toggles. All right, and so a lot of these settings are similar to the ones we went over, but they simply apply only to a specific toggle rather than all of them at once. Let's go ahead and save this out. And there's your overview of Divi's accordion module.